I'm your astrologer wonder girl taking you to new heights. Here's your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, September 11th to Monday, September 18th, 2017. Now, Scorpio, what we got going on this week is a major Venus week. Lots of stuff that Venus is doing, okay? Um, maybe in the past few weeks, definitely in the past few weeks, Venus has kind of been taking a back seat, hanging out, kind of being the straggler while Mercury and Mars and Uranus ran the show, creating some kind of havoc and craziness going on in your life. And now Venus is coming through the same spot that Mercury and Mars were to hopefully clear some things up, okay? And to make sure that your heart is being watched out for and in a lot of ways to make sure your relationships are there, your values are there, your money and your finances are there as well. And to hopefully bring some more stability and balance into your life too, okay? So that is a major theme going on this week. Now for you, Scorpio, a lot of this has to do right here with your career, all right? Because we do have Venus here conjunct the North Node this week and your 10th house of career where you're trying to figure out um, what relationships do you want in your career? What kind of money situation is happening for you uh, and in life to help you move up in the world, to help you have the reputation that you want in some way, okay? I think that's a big thing for you. Also to figure out what you value and what's important to you when it comes to your career and your reputation, okay? I do normally do interpret the 10th house as career, but it can also be the way people see you in the world, your social status, your social standing, and just some big life direction that that you have or that you're seeing for yourself in some way. I think you're trying to work out some relationships that can help you move in this direction you wanna move in and how you can finance that as well, okay? I think finances are gonna be an even bigger thing for you here because we do have Venus in this spot in your 10th house, also in a trine with Saturn, okay? And Saturn's in your second house of money. All right, the second house is ruled by Venus, so they have a lot of similar themes going on here where you're trying to figure out how you can finance or you want to commit to financing a new life direction, okay? To being more confident with the new life direction that you can to getting more income perhaps from your career or new direction or using some new gifts and skills and talents or using more of your gifts, skills, and talents to help propel you in this direction in your career that it is that you want to go, okay? I think that is a thing happening for you. While this is going on, I think there may have been some unexpected things, um, especially that have come up. Okay, these things for you are going to be in um, your job. Let's make sure. Yep, when it comes to your job and your daily routines, I think there's a lot of maybe unexpected things that were happening there that were coming up. Um, what's going on with you? Maybe having some kind of chaotic job or daily routine. Lots of things, unexpected things coming up that you're having to figure out how to then integrate into your career, into your life direction, into where it is that you see your life going. And I think you're trying to take all these unexpected things about job and I think you're really trying to build more stability off of them and move in a direction that you feel is better for you even if some unexpected things have come up that have been a little difficult all right I think that is the thing for you I think there's opportunities to really create a career that resonates more with who you are on the inside and internally and makes you feel more comfortable and overcome some things from the past that have been holding you back okay that's because we do have Venus and the North Node here in a sextile with Jupiter in your 12th house of your insides and in your internal stuff all right, so I think there's all that going on. I think the hard part for you though, Scorpio, is definitely gonna be right here when it comes to your goals, all right? Where you see your life going, your future, who it is that you really wanna be deep down inside that you feel is like the, the truest to you, maybe being the most true you, being free to express who it is that you are. Maybe you're trying to go in a new life direction, build more stability in this, make sense of some things that have been happening to you on your daily routines, but try to figure out does this truly resonate with me or not is this the group of people that I want to associate with or, or no you know is this a dream that I've always had in my mind or what you know and I think you're trying to adjust maybe you need to adjust maybe that's the message you need to adjust your dreams and your goals and your ambitions and where you thought your future was going and the person that you thought you wanted to be okay to get on board with some financial situation that's happening with some gifts and talents that you have and some confidence that you're really working on and trying to let emerge in some way, okay? I think that is the message here. Maybe you have some gifts and talents or you have some money perhaps that you wanna commit to or that you're trying to work out but you feel like maybe it's just not you or it's just not who you are and I think you need to figure out how to get more money and how to get more confidence um, while at the same time, re and how to get more stability while at the same time reaching for some goals and some big things that are important to you that can let you more freely express yourself, all right? I think that is what is going on there. It may require you to overcome some uncomfortable things about 
about what makes you happy. Maybe feeling like you can never quite be as happy as you want to be in a lot of ways. And I think you have to think very differently about what makes you happy in your career here. Okay, and where you see your life going and realize you can be happy doing a lot of things. You can be happy doing a lot of different things. I think that's the message I'm getting here with this 11th house going on. And you just need to figure out how to bring the two together and to be happy with what you got with where you're going so that you can actually start to build something. Okay, so that's what we got there. Your card for the week is the King of Cups. This is actually a really great card, especially for a Scorpio. I feel like this week, emotional control is gonna be big for you, managing your emotions. I actually think you might be able to manage your emotions this week to really manifest things that are very close to your heart, very important to you to move forward. I think you might have it this week. You look to be a force to be reckoned with here if you can work all this stuff out, okay? And I think you just need to make sure emotionally it's all there and you're all on one page with yourself so that you can move in that direction that you need to move in, okay? So that's what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching your horoscope. I hope you liked it. If you do, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.